What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another video and today it's going to be a video of me doing something that I have been putting off for a pretty good while and you guys are about to see what I'm talking about. So with that being said guys, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, why not right now? It's perfect, it's perfect opportunity right now to subscribe to the channel. Your quality of life will just skyrocket if you do. I don't know why, it just will probably I think. But anyway guys, like the video. Whenever you like the video, you guys don't understand this. Whenever you like the video, it helps the algorithm. And the algorithm is how YouTube puts my videos out in front of a wider audience. So whenever you guys like the video, that helps more people see my video, which means more people click on it and the channel grows. So if you guys don't care, hit the like button and subscribe. I really appreciate it. But right now, what I've been talking about, I've been needing to do for quite some time is clean out my truck. I need to do a full detail on it. And you guys have seen Big Red before. You guys know what I'm talking about. Billy currently got a new truck. If you've not watched that video, it's the one of the last ones I posted. He named his Old Red. So he got kind of close to copying my name. I may charge him like 50% royalties for, you know, getting half the name in there. But anyway, Big Red needs a detail, and that's what I'm about to do right now. He has so much crap that I've just left in there, and I've just left in there for no reason. I don't know why I even have it in there. So that's what we're gonna do today. So without further ado, let's get into this. So as you guys can see, I've already took some of the stuff out. So it's actually not as bad now as it was whenever I first started. But as you guys see right here, I mean, this is a work truck. It's not a pavement princess by no means. So I actually need to get a lot of this stuff out of here. And some of this stuff, like I don't even know why I even have it in here. Like some of the stuff back here, here I'll show you guys. I some of this stuff back here, I don't even know why I have it. Like I have, I have Christmas lights. I have golf clubs, I have an Instapot. That actually has a story that deserves to be told. Remind me sometime in the comments and I will tell you guys the story of the Instapot and the Walmart manager. Remind me of that. But also I have got binoculars. Why do I have binoculars? What? Oh my gosh, anyway. Anyway, I have a cup holder from work. I have a bowl. So just, I have like a lot of stuff I need to get out of here. Plus I need a vacuum and vacuum all the seats, the floor mats, and they clean the door panels and the doors and the windows and all that good stuff. So guys, stay tuned. There'll probably be a couple time lapses through this video. So I made time lapse right now. Just get all the crap out so I can start vacuuming and detailing. So here we go. Okay, so now finally all of the junk's out of here and I'm just a professional accumulator. That's even a thing. I accumulate stuff in my cab. I don't even know where it come from. I don't know who it come from. I don't know a thing about it. It just happened to be there somehow. But I've got all that junk out of here and now I'm ready to start the vacuuming process. And right here I've got my old shop vac. One of the smaller sizes I guess it is. But uh, I'm gonna start shop vacuuming all this out of here. I've got my extension cord run over to the half. I'm going to start vacuuming all this junk out of here. There's a sock. That's gross. But anyway, so uh, yeah, I'll start vacuuming and I'll probably do another time lapse. So here we go. So we just wrapped up vacuuming. And uh, I'm telling you what, I didn't realize how much dirt and junk I had in this truck until I started trying to vacuum it out piece by piece. Uh, like I said, guys, I got most of it here. You know, the carpet stained. This is a 2000 model, so you know, it's not a perfect truck by any means. Like I was saying earlier, it's not a pavement princess. I've used this thing to work with. I've hauled firewood, I've hauled cattle in this thing, I've hauled equipment. I bought it to work with, and also I like the four wheel drive to get around in the wintertime. I bought this thing to work with. It wasn't made to just sit around in a garage somewhere and not get dirty. But uh, it was getting to the point where uh, I'd have been ashamed to pick up a hobo because it was just getting in pretty rough shape. It's still far from being perfect. I thought I had some armor all wipes to wipe down the interior, the door panels, and all that good stuff. But I don't think I have any armor all wipes up here at my house. I'm going to ask Dad if he's got some. He may have a few that I could borrow. But uh, yeah, looking a lot better than it was. Definitely, I just got all that junk out of here and made it look 10 times better. Like I said, guys, uh, Big Red, he is a F-250, 2000 model power stroke. Got a 7.3 power stroke in him. And uh, it's a good truck, it surely is. I had a 
and I traded my 6.0 for this truck. I bought a 6.0, uh, long story short, it was supposed to be bulletproof. If you guys know anything about trucks, you know what I'm talking about. It's supposed to be bulletproof. It's like a whole process you have to do to make a 6.0 bulletproof. And it had like one or two things done to it. It was, wasn't actually bulletproof like I was told it was. So I traded it for this one. And uh, yeah, I've had this truck ever since. Duke, he just keeps crawling in here like he's gonna find something. There ain't nothing in there for you, son. What are you looking for? Huh? What are you looking for? Goodness. So guys, I'm just gonna put the mats back in here and uh, probably call it quits on cleaning up the truck. I'm waiting on Lexi here. We was gonna paint the house today or finish painting the house. If I showed you guys the house, I don't know if I even showed you or not. We started painting the house over here. Uh, I guess it was about a week ago. And this color of paint, I do believe it's called Big Green Mean Machine. No, I'm just kidding. This paint right here, I believe it's called Flora. Uh, if any of you guys like this color right here, I think it really goes real good with these white windows right here. I, I really like it. But if any of you guys are interested in painting in this house, this color, it's called Flora, I believe. And I guess that's just called white. I'm not 100% sure. I didn't see the actual color. Ain't it crazy how whenever you go to get these colors, it can have white, like the color of white paint, and they'll have 42 names for it. It'll be white, uh, blank, uh, Caucasian. I mean, they've got all kinds of different names for white paint. But I, the way I see it, it wanna be a white, a light white, and a dark white, or something like that. Don't come off of all these daggum stupid names for paint. Like that's called flora. You know what I call that? Dark green. Flora. Good grief. But guys, we're going to see if Lexi gets here. And if she gets here, you guys may see a little paint in action. And if she don't, I'm not sure what we'll get into, but we'll get into some. So just hang tight and we'll see where this video goes. Everybody, you just seen, got done cleaning my truck out. And we painted the house. Well, it got dark. Flip them back on our bill. Yeah. There you go. Now we, we've been painting the house right here. We about got the whole thing painted, but it got dark. We couldn't finish painting. But I want you to look. You guys seen Billy's truck in the last in the last video we did a whole thing. He got his fog lights in. See his fog lights right here. He got his fog lights in and he's got his glow in the dark bow tie. Not really glow in the dark, but it lights up, you know what I'm saying? He's got his fog lights and he's got his bow tie lit up. That's just plum sets it off right there. But we're going right now to look for some shotgun shells, and we think Academy or Walmart may have them. We're going out there real quick. We'll take you guys with us. Well, we're halfway there, and as we're on our way, Alexi back here got a hankering for a, uh, a Fago. Now, if you don't know what a Fago is, is that right there? They've got a machine full of them. It ain't but a quarter, so it ain't no count. At least we didn't spend much on them. Well, Bill's got him on here too. Have you ever had a Fago, Bill? I think, uh, I, I've never tried grape. I could be lying. I ain't had one since I've been a kid. A Fago? I, no, I, I've not tried grape, I don't think. But I think, I think I've tried, uh, they got a strawberry. I think I've tried the strawberry. They've got a strawberry. They've got a kiwi. They've I've got a, tried the kiwi. That's a peach. Exotic. They've got a cola, too. I might have tried the cola. Cola's but okay. I think I've tried the strawberry. Well, cheers, buddy. Cheers. Your first Fago. Boy, it's pretty good. Crisp to the taste, ain't it? Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> well, now I can say I've had a Fago. I can die with dignity. <laughs> <sighs> well, hope you found that entertaining. We just kindly stopped here on about halfway to where we're headed to get shotgun shells, and we stopped by the Fago machine. So, yeah. DTW, Fago's better than Fanta any day. Think so? It is pretty dang good. It's pretty good. I don't think I go that far, but I mean. I think it's better than Fanta. I think you've got a case. Tell them, ask them if they. Fanta. If, if you've ever had a Fago, go down in the comments, let me know. I had never really heard of Fago until she mentioned it. I've and if you think Fago is better than Fanta, go comment. Well, and so next time we see you guys, we'll be getting shotgun shells. At least we see some kind of drink machine that we have to stop at. So here we go. And we just got here to Academy Sports. That's what we're gonna try first, get our shotgun shells. Uh, it's busy. I despise Black Friday. If you know me at all, I hate it. I hate shopping normally, anytime, but Black Friday, just a little bit of added hate into the sequence there. 
But we're going to try Academy first. If I ain't got them, I guess we'll hit up Walmart, wherever else we can find. But uh, it ain't looking good as of right now. Well, we're here in Academy, and they've got only had one brand of shell left. And they had 25 shells, I believe it was, $21. We're going to go to Walmart next, see what they got. We did get us some skeets, though. $7 for 90 skeets, was it? 90 skeets for $7. So we are getting this here, but that's about it. I thought you put your foot, okay, I thought like you, it was a house shoe, never mind. Bill, if there's one thing I've ever seen you need, it's them shoes right there. Eh, uh, I don't need them. They right there just make you the most popular guy on the block, right there, I believe. Uh, I don't need them. <laughs> you at least say you caught one. I can see you wearing them, <laughs> they come right at you. Uh, I ain't got my size, I don't believe. I don't much care for them. Academy <laughs> was a fail, four shells. They have one brand, and I believe it was just the top of the line. I don't buy shells very often, but there's, like I was saying there, 25 shots for $21. And I do believe we can build them at Walmart a whole lot more shots for a lot cheaper. But it was a win, because we did find some clay pigeons. We're shooting skeets tomorrow, which will be a separate video, so stay tuned for that. But uh, we're gonna try Walmart now and see what they got. We'll see you in there. Now we're heading Walmart, we're gonna try our luck here. And uh, Walmart, AKA land of the mask wearing liberals. <laughs> ain't nothing but a bunch of mask wearing liberals in Walmart, I'll tell you what. If you ain't got a mask, it's all you get. I mean, the whole time you're in here. So let's go brave this storm. Well, went inside Walmart. They had one pack of shells. And guess how many shells were in the box? Five. So there's no 20 gauge shells in the whole town. So we did get a pack of gloves though because mom needed some gloves to make some kind of cup. So we just went to two places looking for shells. The only thing we bought was a pack of gloves. So I go sometime. So if you guys are watching this video right now, this is uh, actually several days past watching and just seeing the video. Uh, we actually ended up did finding some shells. Uh, it was a couple of days later though. I'm telling you what, everywhere we went was totally out of shells. I mean, Academy, they had uh, steel uh, BB shells, and uh, they were, as you guys know, much more expensive. Walmart, they had a pack of five shells for like $10, and uh, I wasn't about that. So, ended up finding some shells a little bit later. Academy had some more shells. They finally got some in, so I did get some shells. Uh, the video of us shooting the skeets will come out probably early next week, so be watching out for that. Uh, I've got... A bunch of videos filmed it's just taking the time to edit all these videos on the computer which is what I'm doing right now as you guys can see right here uh, so finally getting these done so yeah that's what I'm saying is just be patient the videos will come out as they come out uh, I'm trying to put out at least one a week as I've tried to uh, continuously do for the past year so hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, if you enjoyed it go drop a like you guys that don't know likes generate such a help on the algorithm I, like i've been talking about here recently the algorithm is what helps you to push my videos to more people that way the channel can grow so whenever you guys like and leave comments comments also really really help the algorithm so guys go down and comment something in the comment section just let me know you're having a good day and uh, y'all subscribe to the channel if you haven't already that's probably gonna do it guys remember life is too short which you might as well laugh today and i'll see you guys next time